Hello everyone, I'm Bonebeard, and welcome back to yet another episode of Day of the Tentacle Remastered. Made a whole lot of progress last time, uh, making up for a lot of the time that I dirtled away earlier. Um, we are actually going to go back to Bernard right now. Bernard. Uh, I think I just got the keys. So we have the keys. Give this to Bernard. So, we need to go outside again. Because we need to get a crowbar. And who else would have a crowbar? But a no good thief. Hello, sir. He looks like he's in a hurry. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. Nice crowbar. This is a very nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. See you later. Well, yeah. Why is he using a crowbar to try to get into his car? He could just use keys. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep oh, the no crowbar. Problem. Hope you find your keys, Thank you, sir. masked man. Maybe this one. Yeah, maybe that one. Now we have a crowbar. Give me that gun. This might break the crowbar. Nope. Gross. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, 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 that was bad. Is that other guy? Now we can rumble him all the way up. Give me that sweater. Ew, it's soaking wet. Yep. Dry. Dry out that sweater. So, excuse me. Open that dryer. You put quarters into the dryer there. This is as open as it gets. It's stuck like that. I don't think this thing will ever work again. Quarters, quarters, quarters. Okay, I think I have to use the crowbar on the vending machine. Yeah, it's probably the crowbar on the vending machine. the wiser. Yeah. Give me those quarters. 1968? Oh boy. 1974? Bro. Ooh, 1977. You don't stop unless it's a 1976 bicentennial board. That's all I'm going to say. So now that we've got all these quarters, like, look at this. Look at these quarters. I figure this is about $876,600 worth. So let's uh, put them in the drive. Alright, so that should keep it going for about 200 years. Look at that, it's finally done. Teeny tiny 
your sweater. Ooh, cute. This ought to warm him up. There we go. Look at the little guy. I wish I had some formaldehyde. That's dark. So, we still need... I think now... The... Yeah, there's the cat. Can't get close to him. This ought to be good. This is perfect strength every time. Look at him go. But I got to squeaky. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. And that's how you catch Another cats. Another specimen. I don't remember Lorraine being this creepy when I played this when I was younger. It's disturbing. I'm just gonna. Ooh, a skunk! How frightening! I'm just gonna skunk this. Hey, look, a skunk. Here, you mangy humans! You can't do this! Now he's this left his post guarding the clock. So now. Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Now. We can go into the clock. going on. Throw it up out the window. Just gonna put this hamster in the generator. Rude. Bad hamster. It has a dent in it shaped like my skull. Why did I pick this stupid thing up? I don't know. Alright. I can't. It's built in. Now you're gonna get it. You gonna get it, little hamster? <laughs> Got him. No need for a hubcap there, just like most places. Let's try this again. Well? There we go, look at that. Look at that sucker go! He just keeps running and running Oops. and running. I think we got jokes. Plenty of jokes. Alright, let's plug this bad boy in and move on to uh, some finale. Boom. Hmm? According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to <laughs> throw the switch! Great! Don't stand there. Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. 
I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back, to, go yesterday back to yesterday to turn off the sludge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Time travel! Uh-oh! Don't worry, guys! This time I know I can stop him! Let's go, Gringo. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. That's Let's right. go! No! Wait! You can't all go in the same stall! Didn't you see the fly? We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. <laughs> it's Purple Tentacle! It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Purple Tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh no. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. <laughs> Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army. Of course. Oh no. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using Time the Kronja. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge matic Let's go. Touch the sludge matic Quick as lightning. Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to leave them to me. Oh, you got I've the ray gun. Itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh oh. Excuse me. Um, us. We've been designed. He's all teeny what? tiny now. <laughs> all right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. Look at him go. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. So we got we carry a tiny. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge. Nice uh, but bicycle will. bell you got there, kid. Yeah, that'll make it work. Shh. Maybe he won't find us. That's inaccurate. You who, where are you, human? So we need to do some tricky trickiness here. We need to open this door. Aha! Uh oh. We want to get zapped to you, so Take it's fine. That. And this. Rat. Ding ding. Blasted useless paperweight. Can I go here? 
Now run through the mouse hole while we're getting this good. And now we just gotta wait. Wait, wait, wait. So we need this bowling ball. Alright. Got hey. the bowling ball. Where'd he go? Does matter. Got the bowling ball. We need it for reasons. Here we go. Ah, what an odd formation of tentacles. Impressive triangular formation. Very strong. Very sturdy. Mm hmm. Look at that, there's a lane in everything. Boom. Oh, I think he's dead. Great! Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Ever. We did it. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. You humans are so small-minded. Ha 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 ha! He had you. Eek! So now Run we get to the like, uh, insignificant insect. One of the long-standing you can't stop of certain uh, certain LucasArts <laughs> game, which is the uh, the final boss being a dialogue battle, not in a Monkey Island sense, but uh, you have to get the the villain to off themselves in some way. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice try. All right. Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us Gotta live in him. this horrible his hotel. Game. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. Ew. Yeah, that's Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Yeah, it does. Hmm. I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be business. entertaining. Center of the forehead. If we're done. Oh, uh -oh. Uh, surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> Where are we sending all him? Mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Ah. That's what hamsters sound like when they run away. Did it. Everything's all happy now. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Hooray! Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Doesn't now, sound fun at all. Get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. 
they have. So I'll be. I'm custom. getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Lauren, you are so crazy. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only host. host. Oh, he said all the right. thing from the movie. Hmm. the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. A lot of stuff starting to make sense now. Glad that's taken care of. Looks like Hooray. everything's back to normal. All right. So that was uh, Day of the Tentacle uh, remastered. Uh, I spent a long time playing the uh, the original version, which I still have, uh, as I showed at the very beginning. Uh, I grew up playing a lot of the LucasArts games, so I have a lot of fond memories. Uh, so, if you guys like this kind of stuff, I can stream more of it, I can record more of it. Just let me know if you want me to do more of it, because, especially with all these remasters coming out, uh, I've really got my fingers crossed that we'll get Full Throttle or The Dig remastered. Although The Dig might have some uh, some problems with licensing because I think Spielberg was more involved with that one. But uh, I've got the Sam Max games, uh, the old point-and-click ones. I've got Fate of Atlantis. So, in the future, just let me guys know if you want to see more of this. I like doing it. Hopefully we'll get more people involved next time. Uh, but until then, uh, I'm just gonna let the credits run, and it's been a lot of fun doing this with you guys, and I will catch you next time.